guys, it's Empress. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Guys, I'm hearing people telling me I'm famous in a lot of places. <laughs> I never did this to be famous. I never did this for clout. Um, I did this because the Holy Spirit chose Empress since she was a kid. <laughs> I've been having all these gifts since I was a kid. Um, I just invoked them last March. <laughs> okay, guys. I really thank you for everything. Um, I haven't came on because what, what had happened was that I had so many boxes, so many healing boxes to um, mail off. I was like, oh, my goodness. So here I go. I'm going to go ahead and put um, Virgo. This would be a, I'm going to put them together. Let me see. I should leave this one on. Um, I'm going to do Virgo and Capricorn together. Okay. I don't think I did Capricorn yet. Yeah, I'm going to do Virgo and Capricorn together, guys. So this would be a Virgo and Capricorn reading. Um, I was just meditating, and I'm just like, this reading, I mean, it, I'm very intuitive, so I, like I said, I can give you the messages regardless of the cards, but the message that I'm getting is someone is really, really on another wavelength mentally, is what I want to say. Um, I'm not going to say distorted, because they are clear. They have clarity as to what they're doing, but they enjoy doing it, if it makes any sense. Okay, guys, I've already um, shuffled the cards, but I'm going to reshuffle. But this is a, this seems at the bottom of the deck. Okay, four of wands. So what I get from this is that this was a twin flame connection. Okay, um, someone felt like someone was the true love, but the other person didn't feel that. Okay. Or this person never told this person how they felt or told them that they love them or anything. This is what I'm getting from that. And they basically, you, you see how this guy is? It looks like this guy's walking away, okay? So this person is basically walking away. Um, they already had a lot of hidden things. Um, their belief system was just totally different, Okay. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. You could be dealing with those signs. Signs and gender really don't matter. Okay? But being though they, they either walked away or thinking about walking away. But even though they're doing this, they I feel the energy of someone wanting a relationship but don't want to do what it takes to maintain the relationship. This is what I'm feeling. So, they resort to just basically just watching you, um, spying on you. They get, they get off with that. They get off with spying on people they deal with. I, this is the energy that I'm picking up on. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? I'm hearing that um, they give harsh communication, then they flip the script and say, it's not them, it's, it's you type of deal. I, I don't know, guys. This is weird, okay? Okay. Um, this person likes to give to other people, meaning this person has about six other women, okay? You're not the only one. They want you to bow down to them. But I'm feeling the energy of you could be even, and on a flip, you could even be a high priestess. So if you're a high priestess, this person wants you to compete with other thought pockets, okay? And they don't understand if you're a high, this is two stories, guys. If you're a high priestess and a true high priestess, you're not going to compete with anybody. You're going to think that they're really, you're going to think something wrong with their head. I'm just going to say that. Um, I don't feel the energy of you argue, you're not argumentative. You basically go with the flow. Um, okay, if that's how you feel, I'm going to walk away. You don't have to um, do things to make me walk away. I get it, I'm going to walk away. That's the energy I'm picking up on, guys. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn because this is the energy. I'm feeling like this person says they're not low vibrational, but this person is highly low vibrational. This person goes with what they're comfortable with. Um, 
basically this person don't feel like they deserve anything better than what they've been getting. Like, I'm feeling the energy of this person is messing with, like, women that has no self-esteem or low self-esteem. Where they can control these women. They can make these women do anything. They can even make these women give to them and all kind of stuff. This is the energy I'm picking up off this card, guys. Okay. I hope you guys can see that. <clears throat> okay. But I'm getting the energy of this person do care about you. This person has deep emotions for you. But this person just want to be and do what they want to do. Which is fine. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But what's not fine. They don't want to vocalize that they just want to keep you waiting on them. It's never going to be anything but a wait thing. You're never going to have anything with this person. You're going to forever just wait on this person to do their thing and then come back to you. Then I'm picking up on the energy. This person don't want to see you with anybody but them. But then they don't want to do right by you. Guys, I, this is, oh my goodness. Look at this. And this is the truth. The universe is telling you this is reading this confirmation to somebody. Okay? If somebody come and go, come and go, and keep you stuck like that, or you... You know, it, it just don't make sense. Take the picture. Move on. See? The universe is saying move forward. Move on. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Pisces. I have Pisces heavy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or you, the person that he's keeping stuck could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay? But you think this person is your Ten of Cups. Could be your Ten of Cups. I feel the energy of is your happiness or you want a family with this person. Maybe this person wanted with you. But you keep leaving this person out in the cold because initially you really want to be a single person. But you want to be single, but you want the finances that come with being with this said person. But you just taking finances from seven different, from what I'm feeling is like from between four to six other energies, which is females. That's what I'm getting. And when you walk away, you walk away and you hurt this person every time. Because it's like you, you, you just selfish. You, you think about self. You don't care about the next person. Okay. But I'm hearing, guys, look at this. I'm hearing you want to come in and apologize to this person, tell this person how you feel. But I'm feeling it may be too late. Okay. This Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Pisces is heavy. But I'm feeling the energy of you're not going to do it until this person gets serious about leaving you alone, blocking you and pushing you away once and for all. Then you're going to get the picture then because your options or whoever you're dealing with ain't worth nothing anyway. Um, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay? This person's tired of dealing with you. The universe is saying for you or them to end this because it's never going to be anything here. Scorpio energy. Okay? Okay, Virgo and Capricorn, man, oh man, I'm, mm -mm -mm. something just, you know, the energy just told me, Holy Spirit told me to put you guys together, and you walked away like a, I'm going to say it, like a dumbass from the Ten of Pentacles, you walked away from your own legacy, for trifling females that's giving you a little bit. You know what the ten of do you know what legacy is? Oh my god. Do you know what legacy is? Mm, mm, mm. Now you want to communicate fast and tell this person that they're your soulmate. <laughs> Guys, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Or every Sagittarius Leo, but this person saying, "I'm I'm moved away. I'm tired. I'm tired of dealing with all this." Okay, but this is what you walked away from the Ten of Pentacles. You walked away from generational wealth, guys. I don't know who walks away from gener generational wealth. You have to be slow to do that. I'm just not playing. You got to be something wrong with you to walk away from the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, guys. This is um Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Also, this has been your reading, Capricorn and Virgo. Okay, um, this energy really, it makes, it makes me feel like I have a damper, damper mood. 
this person is really feeling sad. I don't know why they're feeling sad and, and uptight and why they can't sleep because th this is what they wanted for themselves. So you, you wanted something, you got it, okay? You'll forever live your life penny pension because you rather, I'm going to say it, you rather the, 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 you rather have your hoes over having something stable. That's your fun life. So here it is. Okay, guys, I don't like to curse, but I mean, I got to say it as I get it. If you guys want to extend it to this reading, you can call me 346-465-5990. And you can cash at me at dollar sign in for Shay Shay. Guys, um, thank you for your donations. Thank you for um, um, subscribing me to everybody. And thank you, guys. My clients be telling me that I'm famous in other places, <laughs> in a lot of places. <laughs> okay, guys, that is overwhelming to Empress Shay Shay. Because when it's all said and done, I'm just Sharon. <laughs> um, the Holy Spirit works through me, and I'm very humble, and I remain that way. Light and love.